Welcome to a quick demo of the iDeliver application by AppScript. The iDeliver application is capable of powering businesses very similar to Postmates, Deliveroo, Swiggy, Food Panda, Grubhub, Hungry House, etc. The iDeliver application has different modules that it presents for each of the users in the entire solution. The first one being the customer application. The customer application allows a customer or the user of the application to place an order with one of the stores that are available on the application. The store application allows the stores or the restaurants or the staff users of the restaurant to receive orders and process them through and push them for delivery to the drivers. The driver application on the other hand receives these orders and processes them and finally delivers it to the customer. Starting with the demo, you can see on your right hand side we have the customer application and on the left hand side we have the store application which is currently logged into the Star in East Cafe. Starting with the customer application, the first thing that the customer application does is takes your current location. As you can see my current location has been taken on the top but I can always go ahead and click on it and search for a different location. If I wish to port myself or order for somebody who is at a different location than my current location, I could simply change my location to one of the search results that is available here and order from restaurants in that particular location. We also see different categories with images and the names that are available on the home page right here. These images, names and the order of the categories comes from the CMS panel which is available with the applications when you purchase them. I'm going to go ahead and click on fast food that is the first uh, category and we've got some subcategories under them like burger, chicken, sandwiches and right below them we've got a list of restaurants that are serving at my current location. I can always go and click on the search option to find one of the stores where we have only three stores at my current location that allows me to search for amongst them so I'm going to go ahead and say Star Anise it'll just give me Star Anise Cafe and I can directly go inside to the cafe and order for myself but I'm just going to hit cross and go back and click on the Star Anise Cafe from the restaurants list when I do that I get into the Star Anise Cafe page on the top I can see an image from the Star Anise Cafe the name, how far is it from my current location and till what time is it open. I can go ahead and click on my view past orders, favorite items or the menu options that are available at the bottom that will allow me to place an order by selecting one of the items. So before we go on to the past orders or the favorite items, I'm going to walk you through the order process. I'm going to go ahead and click on burger and as you can see the products under the burger category load with the images and the names on it and I'm gonna go ahead and order myself a Mexican burger the moment I click on a Mexican burger I can see the details of Mexican burger which start with the name description of it the portions available for this and the choices and different add-ons also that could be coupled with the Mexican burger I'm gonna go ahead and choose for a small Mexican burger and I can see the price of the small Mexican burger portion appears right on the top and choose for myself tomato sauce chili sauce and firm cheese and go ahead and add this to my cart as soon as I do that I can see there's a cart that pops up from the bottom and gives me the price of the item that I've added I'm gonna go ahead and order myself another burger which is a Bombay classic burger order myself a small portion of it with tomato sauce and cottage cheese this time I'm gonna go ahead and also increase the quantity of it because I think I might need six of them to fill my stomach today hmm. and I also have an option to add this Pertler burger to my favorites and go through a hassle-free process of ordering next time I just could go to my favorites list and click on the Bombay Classic Burger and order it from there. Now I've added this to my car but we're going to take a step back and go to the favorites items and see if I have the Bombay Classic Burger added to it. Yes I do and I also have the Mexican Burger added to my favorite items list. So the next time I wish to place an order I could just go to my favorite items and add the products from there and no hassle of going through the product listing again. I'm going to go ahead and click on view cart now I can see the details of the products that I've added to the system and uh, I could increase 
the quantity of the Mexican burger with a small portion and also see the cart items total to be $17.30 I'm going to put in some instructions no onions because I don't like onions so I'm going to go ahead and put a special instruction now I have an option to choose between pickup or delivery for this particular restaurant or the Star Anise Cafe and I'm going to go ahead and do a pickup order for myself when I click on checkout it presents me with a page checkout page and the first option available for me is to select a payment type we've got payment type as cash and card I'm gonna go ahead and click on card I already have a card added but I'm gonna walk you through the process of adding a new card so we've got stripe integrated in this application which comes on the house if you purchase the application so I'm gonna go ahead and use a stripe test card key in the credentials click on done wait for stripe to add the card to my list there you go so I'm gonna select one of these cards which are pretty much the same as soon as I do that I can see it populated under my payment type and I can go ahead and give a tip to the restaurant say two dollars I also can choose between a pickup time whether I would like to pick up as soon as possible so I'm gonna go ahead for now if I wish to pick up the order at a later time I'm gonna go ahead and click on later and choose a specific time but for now I'm gonna hit now as my uh, selected payment type pickup type sorry the promo code is a method for us uh, to allow the customers to earn certain discounts and apply them to the cart and have a lower value of the final price the order summary shows my cart subtotal to be 17.30 service charge which again comes from the back end and is configurable completely is $3.98 and the tip happens to be $2 which the total adds up to be $23.28 now before I place an order on the customer application I'm going to shift the tab on the restaurant application on the left hand side to the new tab I'm going to go ahead and click on confirm now and see that the order has been placed and I can see it under my current orders on the customer application while on the left hand side I can see under the restaurant application a new order has popped up by the name Shiv when I go ahead and click on it I can see my details my image the history section where I can go ahead and click and find all the orders that I had placed with this restaurant in the past the order time the order type how was the order placed it was placed as now order and not as a later order I can also see the item details as it was placed on the customer application and I have two options down at the bottom either to accept or reject I'm gonna go ahead and accept the order and at the same time I'm gonna go and click on the customer application see if the order details are updated correctly or not on the restaurant application I move to the preparing section click on the order and now I can see at the bottom the buttons have changed it is cancel the second blue button is for delay I can add a delay to the order with a reason or just go ahead and click on ready when I do that I can see on the customer application in real time the order has been updated to ready as when I go on to the ready section I can find the order and complete it as soon as the order is completed I can see the order has been moved to my past order section and I can see the details are well populated here all the items can also be seen and it also shows that I placed the order through a card now I'm going to show you how to place a delivery order for that I'll go back on the home page go to Star Anise Cafe click on burger click on Mexican burger small tomato chili pan and cartridge all of them together make a nine pieces add them to the cart click on it click on delivery when I click on delivery location I can see I already have an address saved which is my grandma's place I'm gonna add another address and show you how this process works and I say, say and see. 
punch. It's close to the National Bank. Let's save it. I see that pop up. Click on that signage. I can see that the proximate distance from my current location or the delivery address and the store or the restaurant is approximately 0 0.28 miles and the approximate delivery fee is $4.95. I'm going to go ahead and click on payment type as cash. Give a tip of $1. Again, we've got the delivery time that could be chosen between now or later, a promo code and the order summary breakdown. When I click on confirm, I can see under the current orders, a new order for Star Anis Cafe for about $20.96 has been placed. And if we go back to the restaurant application, I can see there's a new order under Shiv's name. I can see the details of the order that has come up. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. It goes under preparing section. I can see that uh, the order is under preparing section and I have the same set of buttons as we did in the pickup order flow. Before I hit ready, since the order will now go to a driver application, I'm going to move to the right mobile device and change back to the iDeliver driver. Refresh between off the job and on the job. And as soon as I hit on the ready button on the left hand side on my restaurant application, it's going to send an order to the driver application on the right hand side. Order, order. As you can see on the order, right hand side, order, I can hear the order, order, order sound order, and I order, have an option to order, accept or reject order, order, order. order. I'm going to go ahead order, and click on accept order. order. As soon as the order is accepted, I can see the screen where I see the details of the store, uh, the customer, the order ID. I can also click on view orders to see the details of the order that has been placed by the customer. There's a Google Maps and Waze Map integration for navigation to the store. As soon as I reach the store, I'm going to hit Reached Store. It sends out a notification to the customer application saying the driver is at the store location. If I click on it, I can see I have a live track button right on the top. When I click on the live track button, I can see that the driver is at the same location as the customer location, very close to it. The customer location has been moved a little bit away as we set it up in the address. And now I can see that Dino is the customer driver who's going to be delivering the order. Dino is the driver who's, who will be delivering the order. And he's about 0 0.24 miles and one minute away from the customer location or the delivery location that we have set. Since the current location is different from the customer location and my driver device is right here at my current location, we can see a difference between the customer and the driver location here. I'm going to head back. And now I can see that Dino will deliver the order shortly and the order has already been picked. We will shift back to the driver app and charge the customer. As soon as I do that, the customer gets another notification saying the driver has picked up your order and is on the way to delivery. Now the driver has to move towards the customer who is situated at number 24682 Hebal, Bangalore, Karnataka. That's his address. I can also make a call to him by clicking on the phone button right on the top. As soon as I hit I have arrived, I can see the invoice on the driver application and see all the details have been populated correctly. After handing over the package to the customer, I'm going to ask for his signatures just to sh make sure that the delivery has happened. I'm going to sign here and click on approve. This completes our order. And as soon as the order is completed on the customer application, a pop-up comes with the feedback that is required from the customer side. I, I can see that the order was placed for Mexican burger, which costed the customer $20.96. And we have the feedback parameters, which is delivery executive and uh, food. And I can rate them on a five star rating parameter. Both of them I'm going to give for the food a two and a half star and for the delivery executive to be really fast on delivering the order a five star and submit the feedback. This completes our two cycles of a pickup order and a delivery order. And if I go back on the customer application on the profile section, I can see my favorite stores 
my cards, my addresses, saved addresses. Need help allows you to integrate live chat and you can talk to the support team on the other end of the application. The customers could get their grievances and problems resolved through this. And then I have the about section that allows us to put in information and social links about the application here. I can go back and I can also invite people with my referral code which they can use to sign up and they'll get discounts along with me when they place the first order. Thank you for watching the demo.